People, here we go. We're uh, cooking oysters, Kilpatrick. So we're uh, self-isolating in style here. And unfortunately, you can't change the camera angle from front to rear while you're recording, which really sucks. So there's our oysters. I can't see how they look on camera because now the camera's looking away from me. I've made up my Worcester sauce and uh, honey with a bit of butter and some garlic. And over here, I have cut up some bacon, which I have just uh, lightly pan fried. That's because it's not gonna take very long for those uh, oysters to cook in the oven. Don't need that bit of fat there, you can pick that out. You can cut that any way you, any way you like, any way you like. So another important thing to have while we're uh, cooking is our beer. Well, so we haven't started the beer yet. That's obviously a crucial mistake. We'll begin consuming the beer now. So there you have it, folks. Uh, the, uh, the pan that we're using, we don't have any salt on it. That's because we can't afford any. Actually, we can afford it, but we didn't get any from the shop and we've got to use what we've got because we're self-isolating. As it turns out, you can stick them in the pan in such a way that yeah, they don't actually need any salt. So it's a lot less wasteful than the way we were doing it before. Uh, so we're gonna sprinkle those bits of uh, bacon on top of our oysters. We're gonna preheat our oven to a couple of hundred degrees. And we just wanna put the, uh, the bacon on the top there like that. You can put it on as much or as little as you like. I don't care, I don't care. So for us, we're not that fussy. We just have just a pinch of each of these ingredients. Now, some people like different kinds of oysters. I've got no idea what kind of oysters these are. They're just oysters and probably taste like any other oysters. They're not particularly big, they're not particularly small, but they will do the job. So as you can see, it's not very difficult putting the bits of bacon on there. Bacon's cheap. You can cut up and fry up more than you need. There's two dozen oysters here. So uh, call it 50 bucks. So we're, uh, we're self-isolating in record amounts of indulgence at the moment because we aren't going to the movies. We aren't going out for dinner. After this, we we'll think we'll have some prawns and then maybe we'll sit in front of the TV consuming beers for the rest of the night whilst watching people die of coronavirus. Cool, well, thanks for joining us. Um, actually, I should probably put the, uh, the sauce on it for you before we sign off. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's have a look. There's my sauce. See, there's my sauce. And we're just gonna put a little bit on each one. As I said, there's a bit of Worcester in there. There's a little bit of honey. There's some butter. There's some garlic. All of these things are good. You can add a little bit of lemon if you like lemon on your fish. It doesn't take very long. Always make more than you need because it's a pain in the neck to make a little bit to do one or two at the end if you run out. Now these only take five minutes in the oven. That's all they need. You don't need to cook the shit out of them. They're perfectly acceptable to eat when they're just in there for that short five minutes or so. You'll see them bubbling away as you cook when you look through the door. You can use grill or you can use your fan oven. Doesn't make any difference to me. If you do use the grill, don't put them too close so that you burn them, because obviously that wouldn't be good. Don't want to burn your 50 bucks worth of oysters so I reckon we've pretty much run out of stuff there, which means that will be the end of the video. I might be showing you a video at the end of me actually consuming a few of these. Awesome, see ya.